Hello, and welcome to StatHead Tutorials. StatHead is a powerful service with a number of tools that allow you to explore the expansive databases of websites like Baseball Reference to conduct your own research and answer in-depth questions. These services are already used by teams, broadcasters, journalists, gamblers, and researchers, and now we want to give this same power to you. In these videos, we will teach you how to use the features of StatHead to unlock our website's databases and learn more about the sports you love. This episode is about the Game Finder. Baseball Reference has complete box scores dating back over 100 years of Major League history, and we're adding more every year. That's nearly 200,000 baseball games. Digging through each one to find exceptional feats or interesting statistics would take a tremendous amount of time and effort. Instead, save yourself all of that with a StatHead subscription. In StatHead, you can let the Game Finder do the research for you. Let's take a look at what you can do with this powerful tool. The Game Finder is set up similarly to the Season Finder with a number of filters that allow you to set up search parameters and then a menu of options for what kind of search to run. And of course, you can choose to look up stats for players or teams, uh, just like with our other tools. Some of these filters are obvious. Years, for example, allows you to narrow the range of years that you want to search. If you watched our Season Finder video, you're probably familiar with the statistical filters. Selecting the stat you want will add a filter allowing you to narrow the results by that stat. You can add multiple statistical filters, and you can use this to find stuff like multiple home run games, three true outcome games, or 10 strikeout games. Other filters are specific to the Game Finder. The Game Finder allows you to choose the game type. In addition to regular season games, we also have box scores for every all-star game and postseason game. Changing the game type will allow you to search those games instead of the regular season ones. The player filters allow you to filter information about the players or their teams. This would include things like position, handedness, whether they started the game, where they hit in the batting order, or whether the team won. Uh, game filters allow you to filter information about the game itself. Uh, so that would be things like whether the game went to extra innings, what the weather was like that day, uh, home or away, uh, things like that. So as with the Season Finder, the real power comes from putting these filters together. For example, if you wanted to see the most total bases by a left-handed hitter in the nine spot of the batting order, I know that's a specific search, uh, you would go to the player filters and add two, one for left-handed hitters and one for nine spot hitters. Then you would sort by total bases and run the query. Let StatHead do all the research for you and in just a couple of moments you will have your answer. The Game Finder also has a span of games option. This will allow you to filter by how many games uh, into a season or a career or a range of games within a season or a career, um, things like that. So for example, if you want to look up a player's career debut, or how they performed over their team's first 30 games of a season, you could do that with this span of games option. There are a number of different queries the Game Finder can run using the data in these filters. By default, it'll simply load up every player or team stats on a game-by-game -game basis in the order that you choose. However, there are more options for more in-depth or other kinds of searches that you could run if you wanted. So you can use find players with most matching games to search for the number of games that a player had that meet your criteria. So instead of pulling a list of every single multi home run game one by one, just listed in order, most matching games will allow you to pull a list of who had the most multi home run games. You can do this search for one season at a time, or you can do it for full careers. So you can see who had the most in a single season or who had the most over an entire span of years. Uh, you can also look up teams with the most player games matching the given filters. So instead of a list of the players with the most multi-home run games, you would get one with the teams who had the most players to have multi-home run games within a season. Lastly, you can find the number of players in a single game who match the criteria. So in this example, you would be looking up the single game that had the most players who hit multiple home runs. You can do that for just one team in the game or both, so you can get a combined total for the game or just a total for one team in the game. The Game Finder has a hack that's very powerful and that I want to make sure that we go over. 
Uh, when you run the most matching game search, in addition to telling you which player or team had the most games that match, it produces a combined stat line for all of those games. You can also resort the table by any of those stat columns. Uh, that means that you can use the game finder to look up some kind of combined stat line uh, over a range of games or a certain number of games. So this will come in handy in uh, uh, a lot of cases, but there are a couple specific circumstances that I would like to go over. First of all, if you're looking for records through a certain number of career games, this is a very useful search to run. So for example, uh, with the recent explosion in home runs, we're seeing players hitting more home runs uh, earlier in their career than they ever have before. So if you want to see who had the most homers in their first 100 games, you can run a query for most games with a home run. That will give you a list of the players who had the most games with a home run in their first 100 games. Once you have that, go to the column header and resort the results by homers rather than number of games. That will give you the list of players with the most home runs through that number of games. So the most home runs in your first 100 games. Uh, you can also use this to look up postseason stats, since there's currently no postseason option in the Season Finder. The Game Finder even has filters by series type and game number, so you can get a player's total stat line in elimination games or in the LCS, and then you can resort the table by those stat lines to find very narrow but interesting records and statistics. Um, there's one important caveat to this, this hack that I want to go over. The game finder will only display 300 rows at a time, and when you resort the table, it will only be limited to the players displayed on that page in those 300 rows. So if someone is in row 351, but they actually have the best batting average, they won't show up when you resort this table. Uh, for that reason, I suggest using this hack on counting stats. Things like home runs, RBIs, those are very easy, easy to find with these stats compared to rate stats like on base percentage or batting average. Um, in addition to that, I usually go to the second page of the results just to double check and make sure that I'm not missing anybody. There's also the team game finder and that works very similarly. It includes all of these filters that we've discussed, except for ones that would only make sense for players. Obviously there is no left-handed team uh, and it has multiple searching options. You can search for single games. You can search for most matching games by a team in a season, most matching games by all teams in a season, or most teams matching the filters in a single game. And if you remember that hack for combined stat lines, you can do that for teams as well as players. So that's about it. With the Game Finder, you can dig through over a century of baseball games to find unique milestones and statistical achievements. However, the Game Finder is just one of the many tools at your disposal with a StatHead subscription. Check out our other videos to learn how to do even more research. If you still have questions on how to use it, feel free to email us or hit us up on social media. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time.